Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. Today, the grassroots group behind the Tucson Fight for $15 will hold a news conference after unofficially qualifying for the November ballot. Campaign organizers say they will deliver more than 25,000 petition signatures to the city of Tucson clerk. Those will still need to be verified before it appears on the ballot. We're learning the U.S. Air Force has plans to take away an active duty A-10 squadron from Davis Moth and Bud replace it with A-10 and rescue units from Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas. The plan is contingent on Congress approving the retirement of 42 A-10s. The number of personnel at DM could grow slightly under this plan. Tucson police are expected to give an update today after three bodies were found in a home on the city's southeast side. Police say a person who knew the victims came to the home early yesterday morning and found the bodies. At this point, we don't know anything about the victims except that they showed signs of trauma. This weekend, the Pima County attorney says there will be a free self-help marijuana conviction expungement clinic. It will be tomorrow from 10 till 4 in the afternoon at Green Med Wellness Center on Tanque Verde. You're asked to bring proof of ID and, if possible, any documents related to previous arrests or cases in the state. Well, let's take a look at your weather here this morning. Plenty of moisture for a daily chance of showers and thunderstorms through the 4th of July weekend. So dry and expected early next week with fewer storms by the middle of the week. As this happens, temperatures will climb a few degrees.